Welcome back, friends. Mark Piotr here. Yes, I am still working on the movie Intensity. You might recall that I shared with you a sheet of paper and it has all these check marks on it. These are for the 30 roughly scenes that I'm trying to, you know, develop. And I am proud to say that there are a lot more check marks on here now. So we are moving along. I want to say thanks again to the actors for their hard work and enthusiasm in this project. One of the actors is so enthusiastic about this and so happy that he decided he wants to make his own sequel already. And we're not even done with the first one yet. <laughs> so what I'm going to do for you today is to share with you some more of the music uh, that I've been putting into the acting scenes. And we'll see how the scene looks without music and how it looks with music. Here comes the scene where we introduce the character Leo Marshall. He is played by my friend John Cavanis. You've seen John Cavanis in some of my other YouTube videos. Hmm. Looks like an email from our Canadian neighbors. Uh-huh. Want our help with a missing person. Well, let's get started. Name is uh Johnny Cochran. Huh. Looks like an email from our Canadian neighbors. missing person. Well, let's get started. Name is uh, Johnny Cochran. The next little excerpt we are going to watch uh, includes myself, uh, Nick Fair, who's playing the part of Dave Benatar, and Chuck Linton, who is playing uh, the part of Johnny. In the story, Dave Benatar is not a very nice guy, and I needed some agitated music to set off his character. And the thing that went through my mind is, this is how all the trouble started. In the story intensity, we have three main friends, and at first they are friends, so they get some music that's kind of... not really happy nor sad. It's somewhat consonant and easy to handle. But later on in the relationship, when uh, Nick's character starts getting a little weird, and it's like that. And then I also have a harmony to go with that. I use the term harmony loosely because it's awful. So right now you have to imagine what those would sound like at the same time, but you're going to hear it in just a second here, because now let's take a look at the scene. Hey, that is so cool that your dad owns the rink, my man. Yeah, thanks a lot for opening it up and letting us practice tonight. Sure, what are friends for? Hey, listen, you guys want to come inside and take a look at the safe? What for? My old man keeps a bunch of dough in there, and sometimes I like to help myself, you know? Hey, that is so cool that your dad owns the rink, my man. Yeah, thanks a lot for opening it up and letting us practice tonight. Sure, what are friends for? Hey, listen, you guys want to come inside and take a look at the stage? What for? My old man keeps a bunch of dough in there, and sometimes I like to help myself, you know? One very important element of this story is that the main character is going through some 
psychic problems coping with the stresses of the various things that occur to him. And I needed to write a song to help comfort the character. Uh, so I quickly came up with these uh, lyrics. No need to fear. No need to weep. No need for tears. Now go to sleep. I will cover you. I will cover you. And during the song, there is going to be some tension elements as well, disturbing thoughts that are going through his head at the same time that he's being comforted. Um, so I'm going to share uh, just a, some of this song with you. It's not complete yet, uh, but I do have a scratch vocal and some basic music to share with you now. Uh, this is the logic file, and it starts with the uh, kind of an ethereal soft background then the piano the piano comes in with a contemplative sound Imagine a woman singing the song instead of me. There's a conflict going on while he's being comforted, and I hope this music gets that across. Well, I don't want to give away the entire movie, but uh, that will be an important scene for me. And uh, thank you so much for watching.